Hello and welcome to Singularity Films' first YouTube video. This is something I wish I'd learned such a long time ago. It's really sped up my workflow and gets some great results um, and some really nice, well-balanced imagery very quickly. So let's see what we can do in just four nodes. So the first one is balancing the image here. We've got no color remap, just changing some colors and making the skin tone correct. Then we've got a smoothing effect just to make the hair and the eyes pop. Really great for a barber shoot like this one. We're finishing with the classic vignette um, just to draw your eye in. So let's get right into it. So this is our first shot. Um, so coming off the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K, we shot in raw, so loads of latitude to edit with. Um, and it's a really nice camera with a really nice codec. So the first thing I, I know we need to change is the color temperature. Uh, the face was lit with our Razer 300 watt for now, so bouncing off the wall to give a really nice soft um, and, and well balanced light. Um, so I know that's near white. This hair light was a 300 watt panel, so I know that's gonna need balancing a little bit. And then the worst thing is these lights you can see just in the background here. They're sort of a really nasty tungsten LED uh, bulb above. Um, it's a really hard light and really warm. Uh, and not a good color at all, so not daylight balanced. We had no control over that, so we were shooting in a live environment. Um, there was other people working in the barber shop, so you know, we, we couldn't pull out all the lights and replace like we would do on a commercial shoot. Um, so let's get in there and fix that. So we'll change um, you know, the color space from film to extended video to give us the Rec. 709 um, workspace that we're gonna be working in. Um, and, and we can sort of see, start to see what's going on. So it's pretty good, but again, we just need to pull out some of those nasty warm uh, touches there. So we go to about 5,000 Kelvin there. You can see the white is starting to look white. Now this is uh, a quick grade. So you know it's, it's getting the best result we can in the shortest amount of time possible. So um, there's some tips I'll show you to sort of help us speed things along. Okay, so stage two, we're just gonna sharpen up the first thing because this is going to Instagram and social media so uh, we're not too worried we just want those nice sharp edges we're not too worried about inducing too much noise because it's going to get compressed out anyway so that's all good so we're just going to 45 there and 30 on scaling in our sharpen tab there okay so step two let's balance our highlights and our shadows so this is not the best way of doing this but it's certainly the fastest and it does work really well for a shot like this so we're going to go to saturation versus saturation bring a point about here and then just drag that down and what that's doing is all the desaturated uh, parts of the image will now become completely desaturated so so you can see here what was uh, slightly yellowy from those nasty tungsten lights is now going to be absolutely white so if I just bring this back for you you can see we were here and if you just watch those as we come down they go completely white perfect it's a nasty cheap way of balancing a shot but it does work um, and for a shot of this let's just do it so step three let's just let's just do the exposure properly so what we're going to do is we're going to just bring down our blacks very slightly. I can see on my parade to the right that we just need to make those touch our zero line. Perfect. And the mid's going a bit murky, so let's just bring those up, uh, make his face a little bit brighter. Perfect. I think the highlights are bang on. Uh, they are clipping here, but that's the kind of look we're going for anyway. You can see his, his eyes are nice and lit there. Okay, so the shot's balanced. Let's go for node two. This is where we're going to introduce some of our colour. Uh, and, and again, try and do it as quickly as we can. So a beautiful tool that we've found is Nob Color Remap. Uh, we've, bought, we've bought the plugin and we recommend you guys test it out for free. If you like it as much as we did, then definitely buy it. The link's in the description below. Uh, so just apply that to Node 2. Now what you get here is this, this window here. We can make it a bit bigger. And basically what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna select his skin tone. You see your mouse over, select his skin tone, and we're just gonna put a bit more color into that. Um, and just make sure that lines up right on our, our skin tone line. I can see that on my vector scope that we're just gonna make it a little bit more yellow, a little bit more saturated. So going out goes saturated, going down goes a bit more yellow. That's looking nice and on our line. So again, this, this, uh, this hair light, which is the, the sort of 300 LED panel is, a, is not quite white. Um, it was really cheap and cheerful and it does work, but we just need to take out our magenta for that. So we're gonna bring our magenta right down and same with our pinks here. 
getting rid of all those shots. Um, and making our yellows a little bit more red, just to give, just to give it a bit more punch. Um, give it that sort of Instagram look. We're going to take our greens out completely, and we're going to make our, t our blues teal. So we pull that to teal, give it a bit more saturation. Now I know there's some, uh, some teal in these, in these frames over here and up here, so we're just going to pull those away a little bit. And in the background there, just giving it a nice, nice contrast. So it's obviously opposite in the colour wheel, we're getting quite, quite a nice colour contrast there. Now his skin's looking pretty good. Um, we could go around and tweak this more, but for the sake of speed, let's carry on. So node three, I'm just going to check our skin tone is, is bang on. So we're going to qualify some of this, turn on our tool there, um, which just shows you what we've selected basically. And then you go over to your vector scope, which I will show you now. So you can see here, hopefully, that our skin tone is pretty much bang on. We're slightly more red than we would like to be, but that just that gives him a bit of life, a um, bit of colour in the cheeks. So that's really nice and, and very close to our skin tone line, which is perfect. So that's all good. Okay, so back to the grade. Okay, so node three, obviously it's a portrait shot. Um, it was a female talent, you might use this slightly more, but uh, even so, it's, it's a beauty shot at the end of the day. The bloke's just had his hair cut, he looks amazing. So, uh, so let's use our beauty plug in here. Um, now clearly that's, that's too much, that's too much Snapchat filter right there. But, um, but we can dial it right back on the smoothing. We don't really want to smooth him too much. You know, he's got quite a defined jawline and face, so that all works. But what we do want to do is just smooth out this lighting. Um, so we're just going to bring that up slightly, it just softens everything off, gets rid of some of that noise, makes it look smart. Uh, just bring that smoothing down a little bit. So you can see here, before, after, just gives everything a bit of definition, a bit of punch, um, but doesn't introduce any nasty artifacts, just keeping that skin nice and smooth. Perfect. And just giving a glint to the eyes as well. So final node, we're nearly there, and we're just going to add a vignette. So take highlight off and reverse this one with this little button here. I'm just going to pull down the, pull down the mids very slightly with that one. And of course, make it nice and soft. So you're getting just a nice halo of light on his face. So you can, you can accentuate the effect there. Um, but we think about there works well. So there you can see before and after, just drawing your eye to his face, which is always what you're trying to do with color grading. Uh, with, with color and with light, is just draw the viewer to where you want it to be on the, on the frame. Obviously with a shot like this, it's the eyes. So just make that straight in the middle. So there you have it, four nodes, really easy, and a really nice, well-balanced, well-lit shot. So for something like this, where it's run and gun, and you don't take too much time to set up lighting, you just make the face look nice, you just make it a focal point, and you balance the image later in post, and you give it a bit of color. Now we can make more of the color uh, impact here by opening color remap in its, in its full page, and then we can move the white, so to see the white of the, uh, the wall here, you can make that a little bit teal. Now what that will do will just contrast with the skin tone and just make him pop even more. That's personal preference for this. We're probably gonna leave it out, but, um, but you can do that there, and it just makes him pop even more. So we'll just play that shot through, and you can see what we've been working with. So there you go, that was Singularity Film's first YouTube video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Go check out Nob Color Remap. It's a really great, quick piece of software to use. Um, and let us know what you're looking for next. So this channel will probably change over the next couple of months, but hopefully we're gonna upload and break down some of our commercial work, maybe some of our documentaries, music videos, TV commercials, things like that. Um, and introduce some tech tips as well. We've, we've got a lot of gear um, and we spend a lot of time getting the best gear in the house. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know what we've got and how we use it. Um, but yeah, let us know what you're looking for next.